Welcome everyone to Water Campus. Today we will see the filtration part. We will see how to design the filters. So uh, there are majorly three types of filter filters. I tell you one that is the MGF. We call it as multi grid filter. Second is the activated carbon filter and third one is the dual media filter. The main purpose of these filters are removal of TSS, turbidity also we can say and also the color and order. Color and order it is uh, ACF this is majorly removed by the activated carbon filter. You know that in activated carbon filter the media that is used is the activated carbon we call it as granular activated carbon these this media have pores so that they can absorb the impurity within themselves and by back washing we can remove it so that is the purpose of acf so that is basically given at the end so i will say that this is given at the end of uh, treatment this is at the end so that we are able to remove the order also and smell whereas this portion this tss and turbidity this is removed by mgf and dual media filtration both now we see how to design acf that is the designing of activated carbon filter so if i just give you a rough uh, sketch this is the filter we know that this is the shell bottom shell upper shell so this is the total height and this is the diameter and this is the height so we want to know what is the what is the diameter of filter and what is the height of filter how we can decide this so this calculation uh, we will do now come to the next page first of all we know that for designing the diameter and height we should know what is the flow what is the flow flow is q and second is the surface overflow rate so flow suppose i will take one example the example is of 400 kld plant so uh, 400 kld plant uh, i am saying the operating hours are 22 so uh, this can it can be, if i compare it to the meter cube per hour so 400 divided by 22 that will give me 18.18 meter cube per hour okay now surface overflow rate is very important so how to arrive the area of filter that is the area of filter is flow divided by surface overflow rate okay this is very important formula with this formula we can arrive to the area of filters okay so how we can arrive what is the q 18.18 then divided by 12 is the surface overflow rate its unit is meter cube per hour its unit is meter cube per meter square hour so when we divide it we get 1.51 meter square so this is the area of filter we require now as we know that diameter uh, that area is coming is 1.51 so uh, pi d square by 4 is equal to 1.51 meter square so we can arrive from the d so what what is the d we can arrive is if we multi if we solve this 1.38 meter or 1380 mm so approximate we can say 1400 mm is the diameter this is the so this is the diameter we are getting 1400 mm so what is the height now height is uh, how we come to the height generally height is taken as a standard in filtration system we consider height as 2000 mm or 1800 mm 
so overall the di the dimension which i am getting of uh, activated carbon filter is 1400 mm is the dia into me 2000 mm as height okay so we will see one more example of uh, this now the second example i am considering is of 750 kld plant as uh, my first step is the operating hour is 22 so in meter cube per hour it will come as 34 meter cube per hour okay overflow rate overflow rate i am considering is 12 meter cube meter square hour so you want to know why i have considered meter this 12 only i can consider uh, 10 also i can consider 15 also i can consider 20 if you see the higher i go like higher i go uh, the diameter will also decrease okay if i if i consider uh, lesser value the diameter will increase so this is the way so why why we are choosing 12 because in our c p h e e o manual they have suggested her is from stp if the water is from sewage treatment plant then we have to consider this this is the what they have suggested yes but if the water is from wtp water treatment then we can take this value like 20 or 22 then our diameter will be of of lesser size that is the case so now i will divide 34 meter cube per hour by 12 meter cube meter square hour so this 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 will get out so what i am getting is 2.84 meter square as area so area what we call it pi d square by 4 2.84 so from here the d what i am getting is 1.9 meter that is equal to 1900 mm and height height is as i told you is 2000 mm so the total dimension what i am getting is 1900 mm by 2000 mm is the diameter and height of filter so in the same way so in the same way uh dimension of mgf and dimension of dual media filter can be calculated in the same manner so hope uh, you have understood how to design a uh, filtration system uh, for uh, in stp or wtp uh, further you know that uh, once you have decided the dimension of the filters the feeding pump now uh, i will just shortly i will tell you few more things quickly so that will cl close my things now this is the filter we know the height uh, how to calculate diameter how to calculate now there is a feeding pump which feed the water inside to a uh, filter so what is the feed pump capacity feed pump is generally it is designed as per the flow as when we are discussing about 750 kld plant where the feed is 34 meter cube per hour as per 22 hours retention so we know that this is the flow that is entering inside the filter so we require pump capacity as 34 meter cube per hour and uh, the what is the pressure we want it should be around 0.25 kg per centimeter square that is a feed pump and uh, now second what we require is the backwash pump and the third is the scarring that is the air air scarring blower is also required here so this is done at 15 minute uh, in a whole day 15 to 30 minute time is given for backwashing the filter and when we are backwashing air scarring is required so that we will see in our next uh, video but as of now we have understood the how to take out the dimension of filter